Good morning everybody. Welcome back to our online maths class. In our last class, already we have learned ascending order normally. But today, I will give you some tricks and which would help you to learn easily ascending order. So, let's begin. So, here am I with my tricks. Here you can see I have written ascending order. So, what is the spelling of ascending order? A-S-C-E-N-D-I-N-G Ascending order O-R-D-E-R -E Ascending order You know very well what is the meaning of ascending order? Ordering the numbers from smallest number to the largest number. Ordering the numbers from smallest to the largest number. Here you can see already I have arranged the numbers from smallest to the largest. 3, then 5, then 8, then 10. 3 less than 5 and 5 is less than 8 and 8 is less than 10. So here already I have arranged the number smallest to the largest. So my first trick is compare the number of digits in each number. So please everybody listen to me carefully. If you want you can write down the trick. The, my first trick is compare the number of digits in each number. That means one digit number is smaller than two digit number. Always you have to remember it. One digit number is smaller than a two digit number. Just see here I have written ones and tens and here also ones and tens and under the ones I have written five and here I have written 13. So five is one digit number. And 13 is two digit number. So without comparing, you can see easily 5 is smaller than 13. So here which number is smallest number? Obviously 5 is smallest than 13. Because 5 is one digit number and 13 is Two digit number. So my first trick one digit number is smaller than two digit number. Understood everybody? Then my second trick if numbers of digits are same compare the first digit. Listen to me carefully. If Number of digits are same. Compare the first digit. Here you can see I have written 1515 and 2828. Means here also I have written two digit number. And here also I have written two digit number. If number of digits are same means. Here also two digit, here also two digit. Compare the first digit. Means here I have written my, here first digit is 1. Here first digit is 1 and here first digit is 2. So 1 is less than 2. 1 is less than 2. So, which number is the smallest number? 15 is the smallest number. 15 is less than 28. Understood everybody? So, my third trick. My third trick is if the first digit is same Compare the second digit. If the first digit is same, 
compare the second digit. Just see here I have written 27 and 21. So if the first digit is same means here also 2 first digit and here also first digit 2. So here also first digit 2 and here also first digit 2. So then you have to compare the second digit because the first digit is same. You have to compare the second digit. Here second digit number is 7 and here second digit number is 1. So without comparing you can say easily 1 is less than 7. So which one is smallest number? 21 or 27? Yes, 21 is smallest than 27. So when you will arrange the number, you have to write first 21, then 27. Understood everybody? By applying my tricks, we will do some ascending order. First please take your school copy and open maths page. And please put the date. Here I have given the date. And please write down CW means classwork. And then please write heading ascending order. And then you can see I have written here some numbers. First I have written here ones and tens. Then keep one box gap. Then again one sentence. So you have to follow this rule. Understood everybody? And my first number is 24. Then 8, 36, 22 and 18. So can you arrange these numbers in ascending order? Okay. First we will follow our first trick. Just see, my first trick is compare the number of digits in each number. Compare the number of digits in each number. One digit number is smaller than a two digit number. Means first you have to search all numbers are two digits or one digit number is here. Okay. So my first number is 24, then 8, then 36, then 22, then 18. So here 8 is one digit number. So without comparing, you can say easily 8 is smaller than all two digit numbers. So which number will come first? 8. Okay, I am writing here 8. Then you have to follow my second trick. Okay, my second trick is if number of digits are same, compare the first digit. If number of digits are same means here also two digit number, here also two digit, here also two digit and here also two digit. So if number of digits are same means these all are same two digit number. Compare the first digit. So that time you have to compare first digit. So here first digit is two, here three. Here also 2 but here first digit number is 1. So 1 is less than 2 and 1 is less than 3 also. So you can say easily after 8, 18 will come. So I am writing here 18. Then you have to follow my third trick. 
if the first digit is same if the first digit is same compare the second digit if the first digit is same compare the second digit here also 2 but here 3 is there but here also 3 eh, sorry here also 2 is there so if the first digit is same compare the second digit so now you have to compare in its second digit here second digit 4 and here second digit is 2 understood everybody so 2 is less than 4 and 2 is less than 6 also understood everybody so after 18 which number will come after 18 22 will come because here 2 is a second digit number and 2 is smaller than 4 2 is less than 4 so that's why after 18 22 will come then only two numbers are left 24 and 36 but when you will arrange 24 or 36 so you can apply my second trick and third trick you can apply my second trick also and my third trick also because my second trick if number of digits are same compare the first digit here also two digit numbers here also two digit so if number of digits are same compare the first digit you can compare first digit here first digit number is 2 and here first digit number is 3 understood everybody so 2 is less than 3 2 is less than 3 so obviously 24 will come here so 24 will come here so I am writing 24 and then only one number is left 36 so 36 will be here so I hope you all have understood and I have done number 1, number 2 and number 3. Please you will do it by yourself and please follow my tricks. So thank you for today.